Welcome to our journey into Gothic Revival interior design. Today, we're going to unveil the timeless elegance of this unique style that brings the spirit of the medieval era into our modern living spaces. Gothic Revival design is characterized by its intricate architectural details, pointed arches, and ribbed vaults that exude a sense of grandeur and sophistication. It embraces the beauty of ornate carvings, stained glass windows, and elaborate chandeliers that become the focal point of any space. One of the defining features of Gothic Revival interior design is its emphasis on symmetry and balance. Every element within a room is carefully placed to create harmony and a sense of unity. From the meticulously designed furniture to the purposeful arrangement of decorative objects, every detail is thoughtfully considered. This style also incorporates rich colors and textures. Deep hues like burgundy, royal blue, and emerald green infuse a sense of opulence, while luxurious fabrics such as velvet and silk add depth and warmth to the space. The combination of these elements evokes a romantic and mysterious ambiance. Gothic Revival interior design is not just limited to historical spaces. It can be seamlessly incorporated into contemporary homes, adding a touch of drama and uniqueness. Whether it's a grand dining hall or a cozy bedroom, this style brings a sense of enchantment and timelessness to any room. Gothic Revival is an architectural movement inspired by medieval Gothic architecture. This movement, which first started slowly in the second half of the 17th century, became widespread in the first half of the 19th century, especially in England. Also called Victorian Gothic or Neo-Gothic, it was created by serious and knowledgeable admirers who sought to complement or even surpass the neoclassical styles prevalent at the time. The Gothic Revival drew on features of medieval examples, such as decorative patterns, tower windows, finials, and overdoor ornamentation. By the mid-19th century, Gothic Revival had become the leading architectural style in the Western world, but began to fall out of fashion in the 1880s and early 1890s. The roots of this movement are intertwined with the philosophical movements associated with Catholicism and the High Church or Anglo-Catholic faith, which was concerned with the growth of religious difference. In the third quarter of the 19th century, the Anglo-Catholic tradition of faith and style was recognized for its intrinsic appeal. Gothic Revival architecture, while remaining faithful to the ideal medieval style in terms of both ornamentation and structural principles, sometimes manifested itself only in the use of pointed window frames and neo-Gothic ornamentation, even in buildings built entirely on 19th century plans. In particular, this included the use of iron and, after the 1880s, steel in ways never seen in medieval examples. As the Gothic Revival style took off in 19th century England, interest spread to other European countries, Australia, Africa, and the Americas. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, a large number of Gothic Revival buildings were built around the world, but the influence of Revivalism reached its peak in the 1870s. New architectural movements, sometimes related, e.g. the arts and crafts movement, and sometimes completely opposed, e.g. modernism, rose, and by the 1930s, Victorian architecture was often condemned or ignored. This movement was popular as a style that revived features of medieval English art and architecture. As a reaction to neoclassical regularism, it was also considered an expression of Englishness and a social and political movement. In the places under surveillance, you can learn more about its origins, examples, and consequences. Gothic Revival is an artistic and cultural movement that was influential in Europe and America in the 18th and 19th centuries, particularly in architecture, interior design, and art. This movement includes admiration for and inspiration from medieval Gothic architecture. Gothic Revival aims to revitalize the characteristic elements of the Gothic style. These elements include fluted columns in high vaulted cathedrals, arches, arched windows, taut arches, towers, and bell towers. The use of this style was often favored for large and striking structures such as churches, palaces, mansions, public buildings, and even private residences. The emergence of Gothic Revival began in England towards the end of the 18th century and then spread throughout Europe and America. In particular, interest in the spiritual and aesthetic qualities of Gothic architecture played an important role in the spread of this movement. It can also be considered as a reaction against industrialization and modernization 
in the post-industrial revolution period. Gothic revival became particularly popular in England and America during the Victorian era, 1837-1901. During this period, the Gothic style was used in many important buildings, often notable for their grandeur and religious symbolic significance. Even today, Gothic revival continues to be influential in the creation of important architectural works and monuments in many countries. The Gothic revival style began in England in the late 18th century. During this period, there was a surge of interest, especially in the rediscovery and restoration of Gothic-style churches. However, it is difficult to give a precise date for exactly when the Gothic revival style began because it is the result of a movement that developed over time, not a specific moment. Usually, the emergence of this style is associated with the construction of the Strawberry Hill House by Horace Walpole, an English architect and theorist, in 1749. This house inspired the revival of the Gothic style and is considered one of the forerunners of the Gothic revival style. The Gothic revival style gained wider popularity, especially in the first half of the 19th century, in England and then in Europe and America. In this period, the romantic and spiritual qualities of Gothic architecture were considered as a reaction to the social and cultural changes in the post-industrial revolution period, and the use of this style became widespread. Gothic revival continued to develop under the influence of the Victorian era throughout the 19th century, and many important buildings were constructed in this style. These often included different types of buildings, such as religious buildings, public buildings, and lavish residences. The architect who is considered one of the pioneers of the Gothic revival style is Horace Walpole, who lived in England in the late 18th century. Walpole built his house, known as Strawberry Hill House, in 1749. This house made an important contribution to the revival of the Gothic style and inspired the beginning of the Gothic revival style. Walpole's house was designed using features of Gothic architecture and incorporated Gothic-inspired details. Strawberry Hill House is considered one of the pioneering buildings of the Gothic revival style and played an important role in the spread of this style. Is this style used today? Yes, there are still architects and designers using Gothic Revival style today, especially for restored or reconstructed historical buildings. Also, some new buildings are designed in the Gothic Revival style, especially in certain types of architecture such as churches, schools, public buildings, and private residences. For some, the Gothic Revival style is preferred for its aesthetic and symbolic values. The characteristic elements of this style, such as high vaulted arches, fluted columns, arched windows and bell towers can be used to accentuate architecture or give buildings a historical look. It is especially important to revitalize and preserve buildings and structures built in the Gothic Revival style in tourist destinations or in historically protected areas. This helps to preserve the architectural heritage of the past and pass it on to future generations. The current use of the Gothic Revival style may vary depending on specific regions and cultural contexts but it is still an architectural style that you can see in many places. The advantages and disadvantages of Gothic Revival style can be listed as follows. Advantages. One, preservation of historical and cultural values. Gothic Revival style revives interest in Gothic architecture and contributes to the preservation of historical and cultural heritage. In particular, restored or reconstructed historic buildings pass on an important part of the past to future generations. 2. Aesthetic Appearance Gothic Revival style offers an impressive and dramatic appearance. Characteristic elements such as high vaulted arches, fluted columns, arched windows, and bell towers give buildings a strong aesthetic and visual appeal. 3. Religious and Symbolic Meanings The spiritual and symbolic qualities of Gothic architecture can be particularly appropriate for religious buildings. This style can help churches and monasteries create an imposing and impressive atmosphere. Disadvantages. One, cost. Buildings in the Gothic Revival style can often be more expensive to construct. In particular, the intricate details and features of Gothic architecture can increase construction costs. Two, functionality. In some cases, the aesthetic features of the Gothic Revival style can negatively affect functionality. For example, high vaulted arches and fluted columns can narrow or defunctionalize the space when used indoors. 3. Suitability for modern needs 
Gothic architecture may not be suitable for modern needs. In particular, changes in technology and lifestyles can make it difficult to adapt older Gothic buildings to modern requirements. The advantages and disadvantages of Gothic revival style may vary depending on the intended use, building type, and regional factors. Therefore, each case should be carefully considered. What is the difference between Gothic revival, Hollywood Regency, and Moody drama? Yes, these three design styles offer different aesthetics and atmospheres. Here are the characteristics of each and the differences between them. 1. Gothic Revival Gothic Revival is known for its revival of the Gothic style. It includes the characteristic elements of Gothic architecture, high vaulted arches, fluted columns, arched windows, bell towers, etc. It offers a darker and mysterious atmosphere. It emphasizes a historical and spiritual context. It is generally preferred for large and majestic structures such as churches, cathedrals, castles, and large public buildings. 2. Hollywood Regency Hollywood Regency is inspired by the Golden Age of Hollywood and reflects the luxurious and opulent style of the 1930s and 1940s. In this style, luxurious materials, high-gloss decoration, and large-scale furniture are at the forefront. Colors are often bright and rich, with gold and silver details often used. This style reflects a lavish and luxurious lifestyle. It is typical for places such as famous houses and hotels in the golden age of Hollywood. 3. Moody Drama Moody Drama creates a mysterious and intense atmosphere using rich color palettes, deep tones, and dramatic lighting. It is often known for its use of colors such as deep blue, emerald green, burgundy, and purple. Rich and textured fabrics, metallic details, and luxurious furnishings are common in this style. It takes its inspiration from film noir and aims to create an air of mystery. It combines a modern and luxurious look with a dark and dramatic atmosphere. Each with its own unique aesthetic, these three styles reflect different emotions and atmospheres and appeal to different design preferences. Gothic Revival Architecture is a movement inspired by medieval Gothic architecture. This trend became widespread in the first half of the 19th century, especially in England. Here are some of the world's greatest examples of Gothic Revival architecture. 1. Palace of Westminster, London, England, United Kingdom. This famous building houses the British Parliament and is one of the most impressive examples of the Gothic Revival style. 2. Notre Dame Cathedral, Paris, France. Notre Dame is one of the most famous Gothic buildings built in the Middle Ages. Although damaged after a fire, this cathedral contains the basic elements of many buildings from the Gothic Revival period. 3. Strawberry Hill, Twickenham, London, England. Strawberry Hill, the home of English writer Horace Walpole, is an early example of Gothic Revival architecture. This building utilized the Gothic with its pictorial and romantic qualities. 4. Studley Royal Church, North Yorkshire, England. Designed by William Burgess, this church is a fine example of the Gothic Revival style. Gothic Revival architecture has been widely used in religious and government buildings around the world. These structures revive the Gothic examples of the Middle Ages, and thanks to new technologies, taller and larger buildings were built. Gothic Revival architecture is a movement inspired by medieval Gothic architecture, and we can consider several factors to understand why it has become popular. 1. Romanticism and Nostalgia in the early 19th century, the world of art and culture was dominated by Romanticism. The Gothic Revival reflected a romantic longing for the Middle Ages. People admired the mystical and magical atmosphere of the Middle Ages, and this movement satisfied this nostalgia. 2. Religious and Cultural Context Gothic Revival architecture was widely used in religious buildings such as churches, cathedrals, and monasteries. These buildings revitalized the Gothic examples of the Middle Ages and carried meaning in a religious context. 3. National Identity and Pride Gothic Revival was recognized as an expression of Englishness. England was seen as the birthplace of Gothic architecture, and the movement became a part of national identity and pride. 4. Technological Advances During the Gothic Revival period, taller and larger buildings could be built using new construction techniques and materials. This increased the popularity of Gothic Revival architecture. 5. Art and Craft 
Gothic Revival architecture is known for its craftsmanship and attention to detail. Artists and craftsmen worked on ornaments and details in this movement to express their artistic expression. As a result, Gothic Revival architecture became popularized by a combination of factors such as Romanticism, religious context, national identity, and technological advances, and gained a prominent place in the architectural world of the 19th century. As we conclude our journey into the captivating world of Gothic Revival interior design, we hope you've been inspired by the beauty and allure of this timeless style. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more design inspiration, and thank you for joining us today.